What's up YouTube? It's me, M. Kwan. Welcome to the channel once again. Peace and blessings to all out there. Now today I've got an unboxing and this is a little unusual uh, because this is another smart watch that I'm going to be unboxing. Now I've said this before, like kind of on my vlog channel, that I'm not a massive fan of smart watches. But this one has grabbed my attention for a number of different reasons and I'll talk about some of those in this particular unboxing video. But um, our friends at Huawei were kind enough to send us this, the Huawei watch. And uh, I'm going to give you an unboxing, uh, like a really short first impressions with this smart watch, with this uh, device. And do stay tuned to the channel because there will be a follow-up review of this as well as the follow-up review of the uh, previous uh, unboxing that I did, which was the Mate S. So do stay tuned and uh, yeah, let's get into unboxing this. Going to need my white gloves. I'm gonna have to take this one off. Now everything about the Huawei watch is premium, all the way down to the unboxing experience. It's almost as if you are unboxing a premium or luxury wristwatch. So taking the Huawei watch out for a moment, we'll show you what else we get included. First of all, you get uh, some paperwork. Uh, I'll show you that in a moment, but you also get a proprietary charging uh, pad. And this connects to the back of the Huawei watch via magnets and then that plugs into the charging uh, brick and then you're good to go. You also get the paperwork and you get the usual warranty information, but Huawei have included a quite a useful, very simple getting started basics guide and I thought that was quite nice to see. And then you have the Huawei watch itself. Now it's got a very familiar styling and that's because it looks like uh, what you would expect from a wristwatch. This is Cold Forge 316L stainless steel in this particular model and you've got a 1.4 inch full circle AMOLED display. It's got 400 by 400 screen resolution with 286 ppi and then that sits under sapphire crystal. Now uh, this particular model uh, comes with leather straps and they are genuine leather straps and it's got a thickness of around about 11.3 millimeters that gives you an overall diameter or case diameter for this uh, Huawei watch of 42 millimeters. Now once you power it on you'll notice that the crown is actually in uh, an unfamiliar position. This is actually located at the two o'clock position rather than the three o'clock position which is different and quirky at the same time. Now setting it up is very very simple. You need either iOS with some limitations or you need Android. Now I've paired it up with my Huawei Mate S and once it's paired up you have access to the whole range of applications that you get with Android Wear. Things like a notifications for email, for missed calls, for text messages, uh, Google Voice, Google Now and then customized watch faces that Huawei have included and they are very very nice. Now First impressions, once it's on the wrist, it sits very comfortably. Um, at the uh, 42 millimeter size, it's not too large, it's not too small, uh, but it fits and, and doesn't feel too heavy. It's also very good in low light. The screen uh, shines through, the colors are very vivid, and you have the ability to lower the screen brightness and, and uh, amend that based on your needs. So guys, it's powered by 512 megabytes of RAM, and it's got four gigabytes of internal storage, which means that it's actually fluid and perfectly fine for everyday use as a smartwatch. Now I'm going to be bringing you a detailed review of this later on. So do stay tuned to the channel. And in the meantime, you can check out the unboxing of the Huawei Mate S that I did last week. That's it from me for now. I will see you in the next video. Until then, I'm M. Kwan. Leave your comments down below and I'll see you soon.